Welcome to the third part of our Empower Synth introductory video series. This time we'll look at the oscillators in detail. This video is rather long as the oscillators are really complex with enormous capabilities. As always, you can use the Smart Randomizer to get some inspiration. Oscillator 1 is the only oscillator that has the unison feature. If you want to design a unison patch, keep this in mind. If you want a similar effect on all of the oscillators, you have to use chorus or stereo spread in the FX section. You can define pitch offset or a constant pitch, useful, for example, for percussion or effects. The transform section offers pulse width and panorama. The pulse width control isn't limited to a pulse wave. You can use it on any oscillator shape you like, which can be used for sound shaping effects. Now let's come to the core of the oscillator, the shape editor. You have two extremely powerful modes to choose from. In normal mode, you control the oscillator shape directly, including a graphical representation. You can select from the usual basic waveforms, such as sine, triangle, saw, pulse, etc. The normal mode is the well-known way of virtual analog subtractive synthesis, which is especially suitable for harmonically very rich waveforms. Then you have a very powerful step sequencer. This is probably used more to design LFO shapes, but you can also use it to design an oscillator shape. And you can use a custom shape editor where you can draw your own oscillator shape without any limitations or restrictions. In the advanced section, you can also load a user sample, which will be interpreted as a single wave cycle. Note that this will result in bigger preset files and possibly slower loading times if you use this feature extensively. Furthermore, you can add up to seven harmonics if you want to assign these parameters to LFOs, keep in mind that this may be heavy on the CPU. And further mould the oscillator shape using predefined or even your own transformation functions. Now let's come to the harmonic mode. 
This is a completely different approach, which gives you direct control over level and phase of individual partial tones. This is very useful, for example, for organ or bell type sounds. Because of the limited number of partials, it is perfect for harmonically less rich sounds, but of course you can always add brightness with filter distortion or distortion effects in the FX section. By assigning harmonics to multiparameters or LFOs, you can directly control the colour of your sound. Because it is difficult to set up dozens of partials by hand, you can go into the normal mode, set up your waveform to start from, and convert it into harmonics. You'll notice it loses a little bit of the highs depending on the number of harmonics you enable. You can make custom editings of the overtones from here. There is a sophisticated random generator with dedicated parameters to control the harmonics generation. There is also a sample analyze feature which lets you approximate the harmonics of a sound from a sample of yours. Oscillators 2 and 3 are a little different. They don't have unison, but in turn they have a mode selector. Here you can select mix, frequency modulation, convolution, or sync as the oscillator's operation mode. The oscillator's volume is controlled by the dry wet knob. Each oscillator has its own additional ADSR envelope. This is very useful to create evolving sound shapes or to add special effects in the attack or release phase of the sound. Many organs use this feature to produce the typical initial percussive noise. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video, which will cover the noise oscillator in detail.